it's Kirk from Secret Nature. We are back for episode four of your radioactive house. We're here actually in my house right now. And I got some stuff down here in the counter that I want to show you because it is radioactive and we're going to measure it. This is stuff that you might be able to find even uh, in your house. Let's check it out. So today we are talking about clocks and I've got two clocks right here and these both contain radium. And radium is one of the first uh, radioactive elements that was ever discovered. It was discovered in uranium ore and, and it was uh, Mary Curie who discovered radium and it has some interesting properties but one of the things people found out is that it could be used to make things that glow in the dark. The reason I'm starting off this series talking about radium is because it was one of those first radioactive elements that was ever brought into people's houses uh, on purpose. So uh, these clocks, uh, this one is a Linden Black Forest. This was in my mom's family. This is a West Clock uh, Baby Ben uh, that was in my wife's family. Uh, this one is made in the, in the United States. This one is from Germany. And the hands on this one are kind of greenish. The hands on this one may have been greenish when they first started out, but there's been phosphorus uh, painted on these. Uh, and that is something that will glow in the dark. You know, if you have like a glow in the dark uh, wristwatch, like my, my watch here, uh, the hands and the numbers and everything white on here actually will glow in the dark after a while if it gets charged up. And I'll show you what that looks like in a second. But um, these have that on there as well, but they doped the paint with radium. So the radium would uh, give off its uh, radioactivity, which would then charge up that phosphorus. And instead of glowing for a little while, they would glow all night long. So I wanna show you a little bit of what that would look like by turning off the lights here. And I have a black light I'm gonna shine. And you can see on there that the hands on this one and the dots around the outside glow quite a bit when I'm shining a black light on them. The numbers on this one, once they get the black light on there, do glow as well, but if you can see, once I take this away, it fades away and they don't really glow anymore. So <clears throat> these do have radium on there and we can test that with our Geiger counter. I'm going to start off with this German one right here and I'm going to turn on the Geiger counter, put it to counts per minute and I'm going to point it right at the hands and we'll see what happens. I instantly start to get a readout on there. This is going to run for one minute. And those numbers are going up. I'm already up over 40. Background radiation in my home is about 20 counts per minute. I'm already at 75. We're just going to let this go and we're going to see what we can get up to. We're up to 120, 130. I have the little sensor uh, where the alpha radiation can get in uh, right up next to the hands because the hands are the part that have the most radium on them on this clock. Ooh, we're up to 208. Still going. So these are <clears throat> charged particles that are coming off those hands, hitting the Geiger counter, and it's counting each one of those. And this is from the radium. Now there's a sad story when it comes to radium. Uh, the people who painted all of this on the, onto these clock faces, uh, a lot of them died because the... Uh, they were using paintbrushes and they would lick those brushes to get a fine point to put that on there. And so they were ingesting a lot of the radium and they're known as the radium girls. Uh, and a lot of them actually died from uh, ra radiation poisoning, which is really sad. Um, so this was 344 is what this one came in at. I'm also going to test the West clock here. I'm going to reset this and we're going to test this one. And what you'll see is that this one is actually much more radioactive than the other one. Keep that going up and up and up. So we gotta get a little over 300 to beat the other one. We'll see what we end up at. I again have this on the hands. The numbers on this one also are radioactive. That may be what counts for the, uh, the higher count. I'm already up over 450 and still going 500. This one is far more radioactive. Still going. Now, if you had a more sensitive Geiger counter, you would get a, uh, a higher count per minute on this. So again, this is not a dose. This is just how many uh, counts this particular Geiger counter is picking up. Oh, we're now over 1,000. 1,100. Still going. 1,200. There we go. 1,241 is what I get for this one. But you notice something. As soon as I pull this away, 
I'm not getting as high of a count anymore. We're gonna try something here. You know, people say, oh my gosh, why would you even have this in your house? Isn't that really dangerous? Let's try this one again. And I wanna show you something. I'm gonna put this just a few, you know, this is maybe three or four inches away. And we're gonna see what that count is. It's up to six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is definitely higher than uh, background. Like in background is about 20. And I'm at 20 right, a couple, right there, right now. So about four inches away, I'm still getting some radiation, but it is just a little bit above background. It's not a really high number. So we're at 31, 32, 33. You know, you're probably not gonna be sleeping with your head this close to an alarm clock like that. That would be pretty weird. Um, I'm gonna make it a little more realistic here. I'm actually gonna restart it. We're gonna put this, take this other one out of here completely so it's not influencing it at all. And I'm going to put this about as far away as you might have something on your bedside table. And as you can see, I'm getting nothing. Oh, one, but that's just probably background radiation even. So once something is further away, it's not like this is sending out all kinds of energy from you know across the house. It's barely probably picking anything up. My counts per minute is really low within the realm of what would be considered background radiation. So that's pretty cool. You, know, you can see these things are radioactive, but you'd have to be, need to be pretty close to them to really start picking something up before it would ever really be an issue. And as long as you're not, you know, sleeping with something like this on your pillow, probably not a problem. Now, these are pretty radioactive, but I'm gonna show you something else that has radium in it on the next episode that could also be in your house besides these little alarm clocks um, that is even more radioactive than these clocks. Thanks for watching. You can click the Secret Nature button in the middle there to subscribe to this channel and receive more content. You can also click on one of the playlists on the left or right for more from Secret Nature. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing.